All right. So this space should be big enough. Uh, we may just have to clear out a little bit more. Let's see if I can get this down. Oh, I didn't even make it yet. I'm an idiot. All right, let's see here. All right, supply camp chest. All right, for those of you who have never done this before, here's how it's gonna look. Boom. I need to flip this. No, I don't, I need to go back that way. Um, is this in? Kill you. That is in. And that is just barely in, so we'll clear this out a little bit. So what this is, is it's showing a uh, sort of an outline of where it would go. Um, and it looks like it'll fit. So we're going to go back. Oh, bugger. There. We're going to go down. There we go. All right. Oh, I forgot. I've, I ate one of the gelatinous slimes earlier, and it gave me a jump boost. Uh, so the first things first that I need to do here, actually, is I need to really quick make a gate. Okay. There we go. And we're going to put this down right there. And now we can actually go to sleep. Finally. Alrighty. So, this is the supply camp. Uh, and see, so you got a whole bunch of wool, you got some wood logs over here. Uh, and if we go up here, maybe, there we go. And then we go over here. Alright. Eating. Oh look! I think that's my pickaxe. I got attacked by a giant boss slime earlier. It did kill me. Where'd you go? Oh well. Anyway, um, all of this uh, is basically starting supplies. So if we do go up. Uh, back over here, maybe, there we go, when we come around here, uh, we've got some hay inside, but something that is cool here, we've got hay, we've got a block of coal, we've got gold, so we can actually do some of the higher up uh, stuff there, uh, I cannot, yeah, I need an iron pickaxe in order to do that. Uh, we've got random chests around, we've got two storage. Now the most important thing is in this chest right here. We've got the town hall. And we've got the building tool, which allows us to play do what uh, you saw me do with the camp here. Uh, we're gonna do that. And these rats are gonna be a big nuisance. I think I saw something for like rat mouse traps or something like that that I'll have to start putting down. Um, but uh, the town hall is basically the center of your colony, the center of your village. Um, and then uh, the building tool allows you to place all the different buildings uh, that you're going to use. So I'm just gonna start putting stuff in here. Uh, what is this one? Oh, I got smashing. All right, sounds good to me. Okay, block coal, hay. Don't want to eat that. There. And then I will start the process of moving all of this stuff into here. Uh, but I will do that off camera. Uh, well, I will turn the camera off, and then you guys don't have to be bored of me taking care of all that stuff. So I will be right back. Alright, well, I moved the house, uh, but I ran into a slight problem, and I didn't get a chance to actually 
uh, record it because of what actually happened. But I had a little rat hole right here, and there was a plague rat in there. Uh, so I really got to start figuring out how to deal with these rats in this thing. Because it killed me. Uh, it might be just because I didn't have any armor, but that thing, it, it actually got me. I was kind of surprised about it. But uh, now I actually have a full-size base. Well, ish. I got a starting base. Let's just go with that. Um, and from here on, we'll be actually setting about to put up... I need to move this, actually. Um, setting about getting the village started. And so let's get this going. So we need this. Do I actually have enough wood? I think I need to go get more wood. I actually may have enough wood to get the basic stuff started because I have stone. Yeah, I think I have enough. Maybe. We'll see. And maybe we'll go out and get more as we go. And actually, do I have any sticks just lying around? I don't think I do. I don't. Dang. Alright. That's fine. Alright, so here's how this works. Uh, we're going to go to... Mine colonies. And so the first thing we have, the town hall, but the first thing we actually want to build is the builder's hut. And so it's going to be planks with a door and the building tool. All of these uh, things have to have the building tool on top except for like the field. There was one other one that didn't require it. But, uh, I don't remember what it is at the top of my head, but so you can build a library. Uh, stone smeltery, that's a new one. I haven't messed around with that one yet, so that'll be fun. Restaurant, pass out food, barracks for your guards, guard tower, stone mason, mine, that'll come in handy, and a farm. Definitely gonna be doing a farm. Delivery man is a good one. Uh, passing stuff for resources and things like that from your warehouse. Where did the warehouse go? Nope, that's a barrel. Where did the warehouse go? Sawmill, Barracks Tower, Jack Fisherman. I had the warehouse. I'll find it. Alright. So, first things first a door. Uh, let's actually just get all these planks. We're gonna go here. I'm gonna create two builders. I only need one in the beginning. But having two later on will definitely help for getting stuff taken care of. Alright, so now I've got my builders. So the next thing I want to do is a farmer. And we're going to go... Let's get rid of the spruce wood. I gotta go find a spruce tree. Uh, we're going to go stone tool. See, this is where you have to use the vanilla tools. Um, if you make a wooden, you can just do a wooden, uh, using a wooden tool in the middle. Um, but this actually creates two. So eventually I'll be able to have two farmers going. Alright, and then we're going to get these next two going. We're going to make an axe for the lumberjack. And we're going to make... Pickaxe for the miner. And then like that. There. We got two mines. And we put the axe in there. We got two lumberjacks. Alright. Now. I do need the warehouse. There we are. Warehouse. Okay. So I just had a chest. Go there, 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 and I have a warehouse. Okay. Do I want to do fishing? 
I don't have a supply of string yet, so I'd have to continually be making fishing poles, but I don't have a steady supply of string until I get flax. Is there flax in here? There should be flax. Let's look. Actually, let's just see. Can I make string? Silk wisp. If I use a cutter on wool, okay. It's basically anything on wool, okay. Uh, alchemy loot fabricator. Ooh, okay. Uh, assembly apparatus pulverizer. Yeah, it's just doing the, that thing, okay. So silk wisp is in forestry. Oh, it's from bees. I'm not quite ready to go to that depth, that in depth with bees just yet. All right. As a matter of fact, uh, go to maps, go to waypoints, turn these off. Okay, that way they're not cogging up the room here, uh, space. I need, what else did I need? Warehouse, mine, lumberjack, builder, farm. Oh, I need to make an actual field. I don't think I have any leather though. This field, yeah, requires leather. Hey, bale, four sticks, okay. Um, it's actually, well, I don't need it right off the bat. They use, I don't need to build a citizen set right off the bat. They, they live inside, uh, the colony, the town hall. Eventually I will build a fisherman's hut, but not right now. I have a mine, barracks, barracks tower, uh, smeltery, composter hut, library. Eventually, yes. What does that require? A book. I don't have a book yet. All right. those up and while we're here rat trap oh wow that's a uh, it's a bit of iron bit more than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's not ex extremely expensive, but that's definitely more than I thought it was going to be. Alright. Well, hopefully you're able to reuse it. And hopefully when I start building, like, my village out, it won't actually, the rats won't actually infest my villager's house. That's going to be fun. Alright. So I'm going to clear out this hill here really quick. Because I think what I'm going to do is put the town hall here. And then eventually what I'm going to be able to do is clear all this out. Uh, and then go from there. Because I can make bridges to wherever I need to go. Yeah, dark oak is going to be my main source of wood. Because birch is a good, like, visual tree. Like, you're right here. I really like this forest here. But I'm not very fond of using it as, like, a decorational wood. Just a personal preference. Dark oak or uh, spruce has always been my favorite. I have a lot of dark oak. So I think I'm going to stick with that one. So I will be right back. Alright, I uh, just had a rest, and I did clear out a portion of it. This should be big enough. I'm going to test this out here really quick. Um, something uh, that did happen. This uh, is now at level comfortable. So the experience, the uh, levels I was talking about actually does come in handy. 
Uh, the more you use it, uh, the more that it gains experience and the more likely you are to become a customer. So like my hatchet and my pickaxe are both clumsy right now. My sword is clumsy, but my shovel, because I cleared all this out, uh, is now comfortable. Um, so it's eventually I'll be able to, uh, it should be able to let me do certain things with it. Uh, give me a few upgrades and things like that. All right, we are going to place our town hall. Now I should have enough room here, but we will see. So we're gonna use our building tool. We're gonna click, right click on the ground. That's the builder, farmer, decorations, warehouse, town hall. There we go. Okay, uh, can't, no, wooden. No, stone, no, mesa, no, taiga, that's spruce, space wars, no, standstone, no, medieval oak, medieval spruce, medieval oak, medieval dark oak, okay, we'll come back to that one, dwarven, dark oak, okay, birch, okay, so we're going to go to dark oak, and we're going to go this way, and we're going to spin you around, Yeah, I'm gonna have to clear out some more, but let's just take a look. So if you hit escape without actually clicking anything, you can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And I think this is the, oh, it's, yeah, I think that's the entrance. Maybe this one is, I don't know. One of those two are the entrance. So yeah, I would. I will have to clean out. Yeah, see the white box is how big it, it is right now. Um, and I'm definitely gonna have to clear out some more. Is that one, two, three, four, four more, five more. Because this is on a block. So you have five more things a block. And then to really get an idea of what it's going to look like, boost it up to level five. Now we'll see. Okay, so this isn't bad. All right, now let's take a look at the other one. Medieval birch, medieval dark oak. Ooh. Hold on a minute. Hold on. I just might do this one. This is a level five. This isn't what it's going to be like right off the bat. Um, but shoot, this is bigger than I remember. Is this the entrance? I think this is the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what the level one looks like. Yeah, that's <laughs> slightly more manageable. <laughs> uh, if I go up one, okay. And see, it shows you the outline of where it all is. Uh, and this one goes back a little further, so I definitely would have to cut out some more. I would definitely have to move the bushes. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. So what I'm going to do before I place it really quick is while I still have the outline here, uh, I'm going to cut out real quick and then I'm going to create an outline um, and maybe see if I can clear out some more of this. Uh, create an outline that I can have a clear space for everything to be built. So head on back. Alrighty. Now it's not completely emptied out, uh, as you can see, but I'm going to make one more, one block that way. All right. Now, we're going to say yes, click the green check mark. And there we go.
So we've got our first got our colony started. As you see, we got our uh, town hall block right there. And I will eventually clear all this out. The builders can do it, but I just prefer to do it so they can spend more time on building and less time on clearing out the area. And I'm faster at them. I'm faster with clearing out than they are anyway. So shortly here, we should be getting our first colonist. Hopefully. Right? Uh, so there will be enough space if there is enough space around the town hall. And turn off these helpful matches in the town hall block. Fine by me. Sometimes they're helpful even though I've messed around, but sometimes they give little pretty good hints. First settler. Who do we got? Uh, Keon X Gooder. I think I said that right. But yeah, the as it said, uh, first settlers I've calling you, you should place a builder's hut to start your settlement. So yeah, the next one I'm going to be putting down is going to be the builder's hut. And then I'll get him starting to build that. And then we'll go from there. Should be fun.